Mike Sess didn't want to eat his taco, and I'm in love with this taco, so I'm gonna Two dip tacos. it into the broth. Two massive tacos for David. <laughs> wow. Oh. This is mine. Stay away. <laughs> What up, what up? What up, how are you doing? Five Mexican guys. Yeah, what's, up? what's up? How you doing? Nice to meet you, David. What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman <laughs> from David's Bin here in beautiful Mexico City. Tonight, I'm going on a night nice street food tour with my friends, the five Mexican guys. Hello, what's up? Hello. Right now, it's only three, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so tonight, we're going to eat some tacos. What else are we going to eat? Birria, which is uh, a broth with meat on it and uh, with smoked chilies, it's very good. We're also eating quesadillas. Okay. We, uh, they have different types of fillings. There's a huge debate on what quesadilla means in Mexico, so I'm not even gonna say <laughs> anything no, about that. No, I, I had one today, and it's completely different from what we have in the States. Yeah, in the States, yeah, it's like, exactly. it's not a quesadilla. No, in, in other parts of Mexico, uh, people think that quesadillas must have cheese on them. Okay. Here, yeah. people don't think that. Uh, what I was saying is that if there's a lady making a quesadilla and she calls it a quesadilla, I'm not gonna argue with her, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly, exactly. Clear. That's my point. Our first stop is Taqueria Los Parados, or traditional tacos al carbón. So these are traditional tacos uh, at coil. So they they use coil to make the tacos. Okay, we just have ordered a uh, bistec and chorizo tacos, which is beef with chorizo tacos. In this place, they are, they are absolutely amazing. I like them every time I come here. And the other thing we ordered was uh, pastor tacos, al pastor tacos, which I think many of you uh, know by now, but we will give you our review. You, you guys are telling me though, this place is famous for making ah, okay, okay, tacos okay. on coal. On coal, on coal. Yeah, coal. coal. So coal. it has a kind of charcoal taste, a burnt taste. It, uh, I think the tacos taste better. Instead of a normal grill with a metal, the coal gives it such a yeah. deep taste. The flavor is great. Yeah, and the owner just told us that he, they've been here since 1965. Wow. So it's a long time. Wow. <laughs> so like over 50 years. I mean, you're doing something right, right? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hungry, I need to eat. We got it. Al Pastor Tacos. Everybody, let's, let's dive in. Here are the salsas. Oh, we, 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 need, we, need, oh. the, we need the salsas first. Oh, come on, come on, guys. <laughs> There's no taco without salsa, man. Come on. <laughs> All right, so you know better. <laughs> put everything you want on it. Okay, so just a little lime. Let's put something. <laughs> Some lime. Perfect. So we're gonna start with the Alba store taco. This thing is delicious. We just put some sauces on it. Okay, so grab ready? this one. Ready? Ready, let's, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but this is really hot. You guys put too much spice in mine. <laughs> that pastor is delicious. Oh my god. What else do they have in here? They have some onions, some is that cilantro? Cilantro. Cilantro onions, uh, pineapple. Mm. And it is just a perfectly balanced taco. Yeah. Between all the flavors. Yeah, because it's like it's hot, it's cold, it's sweet. Yeah. It's exactly. like salty. It's salty. So pastor tacos came from the Middle East. There's immigrants from the Middle East that came to Mexico and they were making kebabs, right? And they put a Mexican spin on it, made it with pork, and now you have pastor tacos. Those are habanero slices. This is habanero. Oh my God. <laughs> We'll do this. This is habanero with onions, and it is not spicy at all. You will see. That loco is there. We'll have to try. El cabrón ese. <laughs> so this one is chorizo with bistec, so steak, taco. We put a little bit of sauce on top. Oh it's my nice god, let's go, let's go. It's amazing. Wow. Wow. The coal, you can taste it. Mm. It's like if you put it on a barbecue, mm -hmm. on barbecue, mm -hmm. same thing. Oh my god. This is delicious taco. 
Ready to come to los parados. Yeah, see, no second chorizo. It's really good, guys. Right here we have the ribs with cheese taco. They look delicious. We put some guacamole on top. Oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. Look at this. This monster. Here we go. Come on. Wow. The cheese. The rib. Man, this is good. And this was also on the coal, so it has a nice like burnt coal taste. Dude, I'm gonna have to order more of these. <laughs> Oh my god. So it was 56 pesos for two tacos of chorizo with steak and then 61 for two tacos of the cheese with costilla. Definitely worth it. 15 pesos for the pastor tacos. Okay, how many more are we ordering? <laughs> I mean, these tacos are so worthy, man. They are delicious. In fact, I think that you guys could continue with the tour. I will stay here eating more of this. <laughs> <sighs> Those are some delicious tacos. We're still really hungry though. What's the next spot? We're going to Lolita's Tacos, which are head tacos. Head tacos? Head tacos. So basically, you eat tacos that are the head of a pig, or is it a what? Uh, it's beef. It's beef. So, so it's the head of a cow, and it's basically anything. Yeah, you're gonna Eyeballs, have tongue, cheek, cheek. eye. Tongue, brains, whatever. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh very my god. Tasty. This is very exotic, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love it. We're right here, right? Yes. Woo! I'll tell you guys, the one thing I love about Mexico City is the food. The food here is phenomenal. God, the food, man. The food, the food. <laughs> These tacos are awesome. Get, get ready. Get, get ready, ready. Get ready. Get ready. Dude, I'm ready. <laughs> I was born ready. I'm ready too. Let's go. Pásame el gel, no, por favor. ¿Desde cuándo llevan aquí, jefe? 18 años. 18 años, apenas. <laughs> we ordered some head tacos, but I think Alonso eats better at explaining them. Well, these four that we just ordered right now are head tacos. They are surtida, which is a mix of all the head. Of the whole head? <laughs> no, yeah, of different yeah, parts of the head. Of head. Okay, so yeah, cheek. Because you can, eat, uh, you can order uh, different parts of the Okay, of the so basically this is a mix of everything. Yeah, so cheek, tongue, um, I don't know what There's else. There's no tongue because tongue, no tongue? Is tongue is more expensive. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's yeah, basically exactly. the bad part of the head. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Yeah, <laughs> this uh, broth from the juices of the head. Oh man, is it good? It smells great. Let me. You know, uh, let's all try it. Mm. Oh, it's great. A little, a little too hot though. Mm. <laughs> Head taco. Everything in here except the brain and tongue because they're more expensive. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I know my favorite part of the head is the cheeks, and so there is cheek in here. There's also onions and I think cilantro. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Tasty, juicy, very good. If they didn't tell you what was in it, you would love it. But once you know what's in it, you're like, uh, okay. maybe I don't try it. <laughs> that was amazing. I want another one. <laughs> Next up, we're trying tongue tacos. I've eaten tongue before, but never this good. Increíble, increíble. Gracias, amigo. Cuídate. You can see that uh, the tongue is a whole slice. It is not chopped, but it is a slice. So as you can see, that is a humongous tongue. <laughs> that is a cow tongue. Slice he slices it into these small little steak slices. And then he puts it on the taco, just like this. Exactly. And then uh, here we go. Yep. Let's see. Here we have the tongue taco. Let's have a bite. It looks delicious. I'm sure it's gonna be juicy, very flavorful. Oh my god. That's so good. So soft, right? Mm. It's the softest piece of the meat, you know? Mm -hmm. There's steam. Oh, there's steam? Okay, exactly. And uh, I think you put too much uh, red sauce in here because it's super hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. We're gonna get one more taco here. 
This taco sounds crazy. It is eyeballs and intestines. Yeah. I actually love intestines. I haven't tried this before, so no. it's new for me as well. But I, I eat intestines a lot. Eyeballs and intestines? Eyeballs and intestines. It's called... Uh, what is it called? Arocho. 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 Arocho taco. Mm. That was like the softest thing ever. That was softer than the tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Super soft. Very juicy. Mmm. A little hot. It has a stronger flavor than the other one. Oh, yeah. Very strong. But I like it more. Mm -hmm. You know? It's very, very fatty. The intestine just shreds. I don't know. It's mm. like very chewy. It like melts in your mouth. I give these a 10 out of 5. 10 out of 5? So this has been your favorite Oh, day. yeah. For sure? Este es el mejor. Mejor. ¿Por qué digo tanto, guys? Guys, where are we going next? Next we're going to... Be careful, man. Next we're going to... Quesadillas. María Isabel. María Isabel in Polanco. In Polanco? Polanco. Perfect. That's cool. Quesadillas, that's one thing I really haven't tried, but the quesadillas here aren't quesadillas in America. Quesadillas in America are like filled with cheese. Here it's not. Here in Mexico, there's a huge debate about that. We are going to eat here some deep fried quesadillas, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about this. As you know, the quesadilla is made with uh, dough with masa, but this time people add uh, some baking soda to the masa, so it gets fluffy and spongy. And then the quesadilla gets made with the filling you choose, like chicharrón or calabaza or potatoes or whatever you choose, the filling, and then it goes into a deep frying process. And it, it, it is just awesome, guys. Let's prepare our quesadillas. Yeah. They look oily, delicious. So, some cream. Be sure to put a good amount, guys. You're overdoing this is, it. This, this is the secret. <laughs> You're overdoing it. <laughs> so let's be more sensitive with this one. <laughs> more sensitive. Uh, there you have it, guys. Deep fried quesadillas. How are we doing? It's like back, you know? Like side. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I think I got the spinach one. No, what I got? There is with la coche. With la coche. La coche. With la coche is mm. corn that got a fungus. It's called <laughs> Mexican truffle. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. I love yeah. truffle, so this is great. Mm. Great. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, this is amazing. I never had this type of truffle. It's, it felt like more it's like a vegetable. A it feels like a vegetable. Mm. It's a corn with a fungus. Corn with a fungus. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> The I've never, I've also never had a fried, deep fried quesadilla, and this is like, it's almost like an empanada. And it's very similar. Got see, yeah, it's like the same thing. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> a huge bite, man. Mm. <laughs> wow. It was like an empanada. It was but like an empanada. Corn fungus. Corn fungus. Was it good? Oh, it was so good. I, I'm a truffle believer. <laughs> I love truffles, so that was like my top. Like when, that, I would have chose that if I knew that wasn't. Obviously. <laughs> oh, that's so but great. so great. You got lucky. Surprise, that surprise. Was a quesadilla roulette. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, where are we going next, Parita? Uh, next, we're hitting up the birria place. It's called La Polar. La Polar. La Polar. La Polar. And they were having like a stew, right? Is that what you said? It's kind like of a. Broth. A, it's a broth with meat in it. Uh, it's. Uh, Spicy, oily. Spicy and oily. Greasy. And, and greasy. It's very flavorful. I like those tacos a lot. Oh, they're tacos? Well, you can get them both. So you, you can get, get a broth with meat on it, or you can get taco yeah, with a cup of broth. The most common thing is to get your broth with meat. We're getting some birria tacos and some broth as well. And a beer too? And a beer? You want a beer? <laughs> Let's get a beer. For sure. I want a strong beer, just a strong beer. We have the birra taco. This taco is huge. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a brutal taco. Yes, it is. Okay, it's very big. It's the last taco of the night. <laughs> this is our last stop. Last taco. So, oh. and also, before you begin, before you start, this, this is, is huge. We have to say is one of the favorite dishes of Valencia. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
Cheers. The meat's so tender. So this red sauce is smoked chilies. Mm. It's great, you can try it with this. This is the chili. Dude, this is one of the best tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to me? We had to come here. We had oh. to come here. There was no way we So, <laughs> what is the score for this taco, David? Was this the best taco? 100 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know this. This is goat. This is a goat, yeah. This is a goat taco. That's why I love it. My two favorite animals to eat goat and lamb. Okay. Have you tried the broth? What do we usually do? You can dip your taco in the broth. Okay, I'll, yeah. do, I'll do that now. Hold on a sec. The broth is so good. Go broth. Oh. It's a little spicy. It's a massive taco. I have to. Let me dip this in here. Let me get it for us. Let's get back. It's out of control. I'm in love with this taco. I didn't know we're eating goat. This taco is so good. That's a lot of flavor. So. Yeah, dip. Mm. I think this might be the best taco of the night, right? Moist. Look at that. That meat of the goat is so tender. They put this delicious, like, spicy sauce. I can feel it all on my lips. And uh, this is my second. I ate a lot of tacos tonight. This is my favorite taco of the whole night. Boom. Mm. Right. 80 years old? 80, 80 years, years old. old. So, <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> That's why they have been for, wow. years, for so long, right? 80 years ago. All right, so we had an incredible night. We ate so many delicious tacos. As I said, my favorite one was this one because it was goat taco and the eyeball intestines and the coal one. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Follow the five Mexican guys. They're taking you on street food tours of Mexico City and Mexico. So don't forget to subscribe to their channel. Please leave me a comment below if you love this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See you tomorrow in Mexico. Viva Mexico! Crazy dude! Okay guys, sorry! <laughs>